Amy. I'm a librarian at the Sharon Forks branch, and welcome to Book Nook. This week, we're going to talk about finding something to do. I don't know about you, but I've been at home for so long, I feel like I need something new to do. But how can you use the library to find something new to do? Well, we're going to show you today. To get us started, let's take a look at a couple of books that teach us something new. This one is called Everyday Magic for Kids. This book will help teach you some new magic tricks so you can amaze and astound your friends and family. That would be fun to take a look and figure out how to use cards and string to do some awesome magic tricks. That would be new. I don't know any magic tricks. When I was thinking about something to do, I was hoping I could get outside. And uh, this book is called How to Improve at Tennis. So if you like to do any sports, you could put the name of your sport into our catalog and find a book on how to get better. Instead of just going out and kicking the soccer ball, you could be doing drills. Um, if you're into football, you could be learning history of players or games. So something to do might be sports. If you're not into sports, maybe you like movies. This book is called The Lego Animation Book, and it tells you how you can use Legos not only to do stop-motion animation, but to create whole sets and worlds to put your movies in. This book will tell you everything you need to know to make your first short film. And I don't know about you, but I think that sounds awesome. But what if you have no idea where to start to find a book on what to do? Well, you might think of something that you'd like to do. For example, maybe you want to earn some money. This book's called The Babysitter's Handbook. If I was going to hire a babysitter, I would feel really good knowing that they had read a handbook and done some research on what it takes to be a good and safe babysitter. This is something you could do to get ready for the future. Earn a little money with your babysitter's handbook. If you're using the library website, you probably like books. One thing you might want to do is explore how to write your own books. This particular one is called Writing Magic. And it'll give you some ideas, some writing prompts, and some suggestions. Um, this one is about writing stories, but you also could get a book on how to write your own graphic novel. Be the next author of the next dog man. That would be awesome. But what if you have no idea what you want to do? How can you use the library catalog and still find something new? Well, let's talk about that. I was sitting around in my house and I looked around and I saw the kitchen. So I went to the library catalog and I put in the word kitchen. Let's see what I found. From this page, choose catalog. Here, let's choose the more search options so we can restrict our search to just kids books. Wow, here are three books in the kids collection that all have the word kitchen somewhere in their records. Look at how different they are. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see by doing a search, you like this, you can put in a word like kitchen and find all kinds of different items. Cookbooks, let's try a new recipe, or even slimy science and other awesome experiments. This book teaches you how to use kitchen items to make something cool, like cloud dough. For our Try It At Home today, uh, our activity is called making cloud dough. You make cloud dough by combining two simple things that you probably have in your house right now, cornstarch, and hand lotion. Take a look.
If you try making cloud dough, share a photo with us on Facebook or Instagram. Make sure to get your parents' permission before posting and don't include your full name or face in the photo. So, give cloud dough a try or try some other kitchen experiment. See what you can come up with. Thanks for joining us for Book Nook and we'll see you at the library soon. Have a great day.